My name is Queenie and you are watching Casa Nigrense. Hi you guys, today we are cooking some pompano fish. And usually in Bacolod, what we do with our bangros or bangos is we clean it and stuff onion and um, and tomatoes inside. And this is basically what we're going to do with the pompano. Um, this is our one of our favorite fish now, which is like a staple dish here in our casa. And so today we are sharing the recipe with you. Simple, simple, simple recipe, but really, really big in taste, okay? So we are going to be cleaning this bad boy here, <laughs> the um, the uh, pompano fish. So um, we bought it from the Asian market and we are surely going to show you right now. All right, so take out all the unnecessary parts of the fish right there. So mama is just trimming it off. Be careful, cause mapilas kamo. All right, and she's gonna rinse it. And just take all those himbis. What is himbis? Scale, right? Himbis of the fish. Take all of those because you wanted the fish clean when you eat it. Or shall we say, we are going to call this video also, How to Clean a Fish. <laughs> Alright. It's a gloomy day outside on a Saturday, and it's very cold in Louisiana. And honestly, if you notice my voice, yes, we are all having it because it was freezing here for a while, and it was very warm last few weeks, and now it's freezing. And then, you know, when the temperature drops, everybody gets sick. And actually, Mama is wearing her mask while doing this one. So she is already getting all the guts. She's gutting the fish. Pero ginakwa niya sang tinae, sang himbe, sang do, whatever you, you call it, right? All the guts of the fish. Look at that. That needs to be thrown away. Other people in the Philippines, they make that as ginamos, right, ma? They uh, process that and ferment that, but. I don't think so. <laughs> so, well, clean the fish, got it, and throw all the stuff away. All right. And then we're gonna grab the hasang. What's hasang in, in English? Gills. 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 G I L E S, right? Hasang. I don't know what is it called in Tagalog, but you know what it is. The hasang. I guess it's hasang too, right? Okay. Careful, ma. I'm sorry I can't help you with that because I'm scared of getting rid of the hasang in there. Use an. In, use a. A shear, a scissor. Finally, it's almost out and we are ready to roll. That mm -hmm. took about five minutes for the hasang to be removed. Okay. Good job, Mama. <laughs> you find the asin? Mama's looking for the asin. Mm. Alright, welcome to our pantry. <laughs> I'll show you the details of it next time, okay? It's not part of the video today. So, Mama found the asin and we're using the pink salt. Um, make sure to salt it very well. Because 
it really adds a big flavor to the fish when you salt it. Are you going to be using calamansi, Tuma? Okay, so that was pink salt that was added. Next, we're going to be putting some calamansi. And over here, Mama is trying to um, cut some kamatis or tomatoes and some onions. And we're going to stuff this inside the, um, the fish. And of course, before we stuff it inside the fish, we're going to salt and pepper the um, onion and the tomato. Um, I prefer white pepper because white pepper tastes better in seafood. Do you agree or disagree? Comment down below. This is an unplanned video today. We didn't plan to do this, but hey, instant ones usually is the best, right? So um, we're just craving for some fish in a wintry Saturday here. And um, we are about to salt and pepper this one. So at this point, we're adding um, salt. We're also going to be adding pepper to the concoction here. That was a lot of pepper. <laughs> and Mama is kind of mashing it, trying to get the, uh, the, liquid. the liquid out of the tomato. And then we're going to be using calamansi. Are you going to mix the calamansi in there, Tuma, or straight to the fish? All right, we're gonna be putting calamansi. Mm -hmm. Enough, na enough. Enough, na enough. Enough, enough. <laughs> enough. Mm -hmm. All right, so hold on. We're going to drip some calamansi inside, and then maybe a little bit of a salt. I <laughs> didn't ah, Okay, whatever. Mama is the expert. She don't want it to to be parat. Um. Masegway taha because you know fish is fish, right? There's nothing really fancy about it, stuffing it. Uh, my husband always asks me, why do I wear jewelry even when I'm sleeping? Because we don't remove it. Um, my tita and dad and my mom and even my other aunts, we don't remove our jewelry. We took shower with it. <laughs> um, so make sure, you know, when you buy jewelries, make sure invest in a good quality one. The gold, preferably the real one, so you don't have to remove it. And it lasts a long time. And uh, it's a good investment. Anyway, so our topic is fish, and we went to jewelry. But he's just wondering why we are um, um, wearing jewelry 24-7. Um, I guess it's a habit. We are, ha 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 we, as human beings, we are a habit of creatures. And I saw it on my aunt and my mom, and so I do it too. So, Pampano, I don't know if this fish is available in the Philippines. Um, huh? So, this fish is $5, which is 250 pesos in the Philippines. But 250. 250, right? 250. And um, it would be best if it's fresh. This one is, they, they said they caught it and then they freeze it right away. Um, so it, it's going to retain its freshness. So in America, if you're Asian, unless you fish straight to the ocean, you're going to go with a fish that is in the Asian market or local market. And it's still delicious, believe me. So we're going to marinate this um, fish for at least 15 minutes. And then we're going to foil it up and we're going to put it in the oven um, I usually do 350 for about 20 minutes and then I put it on broil for two minutes and watch because masunog siya. It burns easily when you put it on broil. But the reason why I put it on broil because I want my fish that really looks like it was coming from the charboil, charcoal um, grill. Okay, so this fish now is kind of fancy being decorated and if you may say so mama can i add chinese wine to this i guess it's gonna be a great take you don't want to okay she doesn't want to alter the flavor she wants it to be authentic uh dish that she 
he's been making. But me, I add stuff. But hey, it's our opinion, right? The fish looks beautiful here without even being cooked yet. So that's how Asians cook fish with heads on. Americans, no way. <laughs> they don't want to eat fish with heads on. They want it filleted. But for Asian people, we love the, um, the, sh the head. We even eat the eyeballs. Anyways, I'm sorry, but I'm just being true here. That's reality. And Casa de Guernsey is a reality TV. So now after you, you clean the fish, make sure you clean up. You don't want the fishy smell. And what is best to remove it is lemon. Lemon or lime. And we're going to disinfect our counter here in a few using Lysol after we clean it with salt, with salt, with soap and water. You might be wondering why it has color now. I added a little bit of cayenne pepper because I wanted to have a little kick to it, okay? So that's all I've added. That's it. Oh, you want to add patis? Mom said she wants to add patis too. You can add patis. You can. So that's how we cook here in the house. We go with the roll. We go with we roll with the dice. We, we roll with the tide. Um, you know, sometimes it's nice to be traditional, but we surely always um, add something that we think that could enhance the flavor. Um, actually. Since I didn't give you any recipe, so I'm just putting everything what I want. I know that the white pepper is good for the fish, but I'm putting black pepper. And we are putting some olive oil later on when or before we start cooking it, when it's already in the foil. So you want to put patis, ma? Go ahead. Where's the patis? What patis? Patis? The soy sauce? Soy sauce. Okay. So, you know, remember in Baholud, patis for us is the soy sauce. And the patis, patis itself in the Tagalog or the fish sauce, we call it fish patis. So. And so we are so putting soy sauce. This is a light soy sauce, not a traditional Filipino soy sauce. This is light. So just sprinkle a bit. Don't worry, it's not going to be salty. I like fish, the salty fish, because it's really good when you eat a salty fish rather than an unflavored fish, correct? So what's next is I have this foil here. We are going to transfer the fish over here in a few, but we're going to oil it first. If you have olive oil, please do so. If you have canola oil or any oil, that would be best. But for me today, I feel like I want to put some olive oil to the fish because I wanted Mr. I wanted to eat this fish with a little sauce on the side. You know how when all the fish gets uh, all the fluids from the onion, from the garlic, I mean the garlic, the uh, onion and the tomato draws out of the fish and it drips here in the sauce. It's heaven. So I am going to, my purpose is to do that today. Spread the oil. This is extra virgin olive oil. If you want to know the brand, it's organic, extra virgin olive oil, first called Best. Uh, made in, I don't know, where is it made of? Made in Italy. Wow. Fancy, huh? The pump and the fish is bathing in a oil from Italy. All right, so what we're doing right now is Mama is transferring the fish over here. And she's going to be placing the... Um, that one. And how about the marinade, Ma? You're going to throw it away, right? Because it's fishy. I don't know. No, no, no. Yeah, we're throwing it away because it's going to be fishy. So, fish is going to be covered this way and that way. So, the 350 is covered. But then when you start doing the, um, when you start doing the, um, the broiling later, we're going to open up the fish, the foil from the fish, and then we're going to broil. Okay. 
really room on the table. It, it can. It will. It will. All right. So um, I told you earlier we're going to marinate the fish for 30 minutes, 15, 30 minutes. But we didn't. We put it straight here. And this is where it's going to be marinating. We're going to wait um, 30 minutes before we put it in the oven. So moving over here, we're going to set the oven for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. It's still going to be um, preheating. And then after that, we can put the fish inside. Yeah. Okay. We're going to put it inside the oven. Bye, fish. See you later. Okay. We're going to wait for 20 minutes. 30, 150 degrees Fahrenheit, and then as I said, we're gonna boil it three minutes stops or three to five minutes stops. All right, we're gonna set the timer for 20 minutes because I am getting forgetful. That's another zero. And then start, so it's 20 minutes. All right, time to check. It's been ringing, the alarm's been buzzing, so. I added, from 20 minutes, I added five more minutes just to make sure that it's really cooked through. All right, let's get it from there and move it in here and close the oven door for now. We will pick through. Oh, how it's looking inside. Okay, so. 25 minutes is just enough to cook the fish through. No, it's, it is already cooked, Mama. All right, so we're going to open this foil, and we are going to broil this, okay? Um, as I said, three to five minutes, and we will see. Do not leave your fish in the oven while broiling because it's going to be a different story to an ending to the story, okay? You know what I mean? It get burnt easily. So be careful. Alright, now so we're going to cancel and we're going to put it to broil. Broil now and we're going to put it on broil high. Alright. And we are putting the fish right here at the top because you know where the broiler is at? Right there. That one. The top portion is the broiler. So we are going to see the fish in a few. Turn on the light in your oven if you can so you can see what's going on in there. There you go. Come see. I'll let you in a little secret, okay? On how is that light or is that heat burning or broiling the fish? Can you see it? Can you see it? I'm so amazed by how fire can create such a wonderful aroma and some beautiful appearance to the fish. Alright? So fish is starting to toast or the upper portion is getting darker. So we'll see. We'll wait. All right, and it's perfect. It's time to remove it. I wish you all guys can smell the smell that I'm smelling right now because it's really smelling good. All right. We're going to close the oven, and look at that. That is perfection. Perfection. All right, guys, hope you're going to try this one. It's really a simple recipe. I call this our baked pompano and um, the bacolod version. And thank you all for watching Casa Negrense, Cooking and Lifestyle with Queenie. Again, this is Queenie saying, Pasta ilonggo dishes, ganiya namit get. Please like, share, subscribe so we can do more videos like this. And please tag me if you happen to make one to the comments down below. Thank you. Bye. See you later or see you on the next episode.